Hello guys, today I'm going to do a tutorial showing you how to fast travel in Unity. First I'm going to show you what we're working with. To give you guys an idea, we have two teleporters. And if our player walks into one of these teleporters, it'll teleport us to a specified location in the scene. Teleporter 1 will teleport us to a location in the current scene. And then Teleporter 2 will teleport us to a location on a different scene. When my player presses Escape, we have this fast travel map. And if we click on one of these points, it will teleport us to a location in the scene. This yellow point will teleport us to the first scene never mind it's the second scene to a specified location and if we click the white one it'll teleport us to a different location in the second scene if I press the blue one it'll teleport us to the first scene so here we have it a simple fast travel system so now let's go over how we set this up so here we have our player. There's a few things you want to add to the player in order for it to work. Make sure you set the tag to player so it can detect collision. Make sure you have a character controller and I have my own first person controller script attached to the player which it could be your own. But make sure you have a rigged body and a capsule collider so it can detect triggers. So that's my player. And then here is our teleporter 1, which I will go over right now. In our teleporter 1, make sure you have a box collider set to trigger. And here we have this simple script where you can input the location that your player will teleport to inside the current scene. So I'm going to go ahead and open this script. Here is our public vector 3 where we will input our location. And once the player enters the trigger, if it's tagged player it will turn off our character controller and this is just for accurate collision detection and once the player stays in the trigger if it's tagged player it will teleport us to the specified location in our vector 3 and it will turn back on our controller so that's it for teleporter 1 so that will teleport us to a location specified in the current scene. With Teleporter 2, this will teleport us to a different scene by a specified location. So same deal, make sure you have a box collider set to is trigger. Here you could input your location and the name of the scene you want to teleport to. So here's our script, our scene name, location, once we enter the trigger, it will teleport the player to the specified location on the next scene. So now we're going to go over how to teleport through our map. So here, you want to create a UI canvas, which I already did. And you want to add an image to it, which would be your map. And inside the image, you want to add a few buttons, like your exit button and a few buttons that our player will click on to teleport them to a specified location. But first, I have this script attached to the canvas which will activate our map and display our cursor and it will also lock our cursor too if we press the exit button. So here is our map key. I set it to escape and then we drag in our image, our map image that we want to display when we press escape and then it will display and lock our cursor. So once we press escape our map here will activate and inside the map we have our buttons, our teleport buttons. Inside each button we have this map teleport button script where we could input the location, the scene, and if you leave it empty, it will just teleport us to our current scene. 
but you could also specify if you want to teleport to the second scene or the first scene. So I'm going to go over this script. So once we press our buttons, it's going to call either one of these functions here, teleport or teleport to scene function. Here we're going to specify our location, our scene name. You could drag in your player object too, but it's not needed because we find our player on game awake. So once I press one of these buttons, it's going to teleport our player to the specified location. It's going to activate our character controller as well. So this function here is just to teleport us to a location in the scene. And this function here is to teleport us to a location on a different scene. So inside the button, you have to set it up here on the on clicks. So this is for our current scene. When we click this button, we teleport somewhere in the current scene. So I have it turn off our character controller, but we turn that back on with the script. And this is just for accurate collision purposes. And then it's going to call that function in the script, teleport. And these two other buttons, they're different because they teleport us to a specified scene. So make sure you add the teleport scene function instead of the teleport function. So once we click these buttons, it's going to activate this part of the script. So I will leave this script in the comments down below. So give me a thumbs up, a like, and a subscribe if this video helped you out. And I think that's just about it.